Hello everyone. Welcome to NDA Defense Institute. In this video, we will be discussing the 6th standard All India Science School entrance examination that happened recently. Let us start the discussion of the question paper. The first section is about the language session and the first is this passage reading. And they have given a passage about the seven ancient wonders of the world. So the passage goes like this. The ancient Greeks made a list of places that people should see. The list was named the seven wonders of the world. Only one of the ancient wonders can be found today in Giza, which is in Egypt. This is the Great Pyramid of Giza. It is one of the three Great Pyramids built around 2500 BC. The Hanging Gardens of Babylon are another ancient wonder. They are located on the banks of river Euphrates. This area is near Baghdad in Iraq. A king built this garden for his wife. The statue of Zeus was built in Olympia, Greece in 457 BC. This statue was built to honor the Greek god Zeus. The statue was as tall as a four-story building. In addition to Zeus, the Greek built another very big statue to honor the Greek sun god Helios. This wonder is known as Colossus of Rhodes, which is built around 550 BC. The temple of Artemis at Ephesus was considered the most beautiful structure on earth. Ephesus was an ancient city that was located in what is now Turkey. The mausoleum at Halicarnassus was also constructed in Turkey. The only wonder built for practical use was the pharaohs of Alexandria. This was a lighthouse off the coast of Egypt. It was once the tallest building in the world. So this is the passage that they have driven. Yes. Now we can go to the options. So the first question they ask, which of the following statement is not true about the passage? Yes, and they have given four options. Colossus of Rhodes was built to honor Helios. Pharos of Alexandria was a lighthouse. The Great Pyramid of Giza was destroyed. And the Hanging Gardens of Babylon were built by a king for his wife. For the answer for this is actually, it is C. Yes, the Pyramid of Giza was destroyed. Why in the sense? We can see nowhere in the passage it has been mentioned that the Pyramid of Giza was destroyed. So they are asking for the not true end. So the answer is C. And this is the answer the, for, for the first question, the answer is C. And then for the second, you can see which of the seven ancient wonders of the world was as tall as the four story building. Yes, if you kindly, if you keenly look through the passage, you will see the answer is two. Yes, the statue of Zeus. First one is three and second one is two. Yes, That's one, the one, one of the seven wonders of the world, which is considered as tall as a four story building is this statue of Zeus. It's one of the Greek gods. And the next question yes, and they are asking what is the meaning of the underlying word the lighthouse as helicarnassus yes so what is the lighthouse generally yes the lighthouse is nothing but a building to guide the ships generally at the time maritime communication was the only means of communication and for the ships now modern technology is there at the time the only way for a ship or a boat from the sea to look after the or to look where the shore is there only there will be this lighthouse so lighthouse only show that there is you know, nearby, there is a shore and the boat or the ship can land in that nearby area. And that is called this lighthouse. Even now we can see this lighthouse in some ancient port cities along the world, including in India. Yes. So the lighthouse at the Halicarnas says, it is the job is, uh, so it is a building to guide the ship, uh, to make the ship reach the shore properly. And with this, the passage you know, section is over and then we'll go to the remaining grammar part of language. And you can see the fourth question, fill in the blank with appropriate option. And my mother advised me to stay dash home. And this, for this, the answer is at. This question is about preposition. Yes. So what are preposition? Which mentions the direction? Yes. So just simple question. If someone asks you, where you stay? You, you will say, I, I, I stay at. I stay at Tamram. I stay at Chennai. Yes. So this question answers where. My mother advised me to stay where? At home. Yes. It is B at. And the fifth one, fill in the blanks with appropriate article. Yes. Rakesh is dash excellent science teacher. The proper answer is it is an. Because E, it starts with E. We all know A, E, I, O, U. Yes. All the vowels, if it is a, if we start with vowels or the vowel sound, we have to go with an. Yes. So the answer is Rakesh is an excellent science teacher. 
and the next question yes it is the sixth one rearrange the following words or phrases to make meaningful sentences by choosing the correct sequences so they are asking for the correct sequence yes here the answer is d yes b a d c h e you can see here she because generally a word start with a verb sorry a subject so she yes she wave and you can see and she wave and greeted us cheerfully that is where it comes b a d c f e yes so it start with the subject she and it start and again a verb comes so she waved and greeted us cheerfully so the answer goes as four b a d c f e so this is a proper sentence and the next question is fill in the blank with the correct option it was a steep dash from the hill top yeah, so they they are given the words with a similar sound and then you have to find out the correct word here the answer is three descent yes descent means downward projection or downward slope that is nothing but descent or you can say downward slope yes so the answer is three it was a steep descent from the hill top d e s c e n t the next one here is the following words or phrases to make meaningful sentences by choosing the sequence again this sentence sequences yes for this the answer is a c b a e d yes the snowfall yes c the heavy snowfall c b a covered everything so that is that only will make the proper meaningful sentence the heavy snowfall covered everything so c b a e d so that is a actual answer and the next one a yeah, dash of soldiers march into the background yes again it is a sounds similar but you have to find out the correct spelling of the word so here the correct spelling is troop t r o o p troop yes or a group of soldiers is nothing but troop the troop of soldiers march into the battle ground so answer is c and then the next question choose the correct yes choose the correct pronoun is she the girl dash won the prize and they are giving four options that whom which and who here the correct answer is who yes so she third person came and then you have to use this who and not whom we cannot use that and which because that and which are to denote a thing which is lifeless or which is an object so she and the girl the both are you know living uh, things are human so for that for them we have to use who so the answer is for who and the next one yes identify the type of sentences and then they have given sentence mohan gave up a 10 rupee note yes so there are four type of sentences declarative or statement imper interrogative or questioning statements third one imperative and fourth one exclamatory yes so now we can see this sentence does not mean any imperative it does not request anything and it is not you know claim or exclaim anything in surprise or in any you know sudden surprise and all and it is not even there is no question mark at the end of the session so if there is no question mark it is not interrogative it does not mention anything exclamatory so no exclamatory it does not request anything so the answer is a declarative it is just a statement mohan gave me a 10 rupee note yes the answer is a declarative next choose the correct question tag the question tag they are asking you paid the bill yes the answer for here is to didn't you why in the sense paid paid is a verb so the it is already in the past so past verb and so we have to use did so did plus pay is paid yes so it is didn't you did not you that is to be answered as in a question tag it is didn't you so the answer is to didn't you then next choose the correct verb the water yes here the the proper answer is dripped because there is a word called last night the water dripped from the tap last night it doesn't say any present tense it is past tense so last night they are talking about the last night so it is past so you have to use the word dripped yes, because drip for the present one dripping present continuous will drip in the future so last night is past so it is dripped yes and then they are asking for the choose the correct spelling and for this the answer is d 
uh, this fourth one appointment yes so all this have some mistakes appointment this is a proper spelling for the word appointment a p p o i and t m e n t appointment yes and then the next question choose the correct option a cobbler is a person cobbler is a person who the answer here is four or prepares footwear yes a cobbler is a person who has a job of preparing the footwear yes the uh, chapels are sandals that you are wearing yes his job is to make shoes and repair the footwears so the answer is four repair footwear and the next one choose the correct adjective yes so yesterday was the answer is worst day of our trip yes why in the sense there are three degrees you all know positive degree positive comparative and superlative and superlative degree yes so positive for a normal sentences comparative when two things are compared superlative to mention anything extensively happened you can see here this is a normal sentence yesterday was the day of today no comparison nothing like that so we can just use a positive degree of the word so worst not more worst or most worst just worst so the answer is c yesterday was the worst day of our trip yes and the next question choose the correct option and closest to the meaning of gigantic so what is the actual meaning or the meaning that is close to the word gigantic yes so we use the word giant or it is so gigantic the building is so gigantic it means it is very big yes the answer is four very big gigantic means a big one yes or a colossal one the next choose the word nearest in the meaning to the underlined word yes there was a moment to us moment in the cricket match so what is a moment to us simple it is very very important moment or very significant moment that happened in the cricket history the answer is two example we can say sachin tendulkar the last the 100th century of sachin tendulkar is a moment to us moment in the in the cricket match our india winning world cup under captain dhoni's captaincy is a moment to us moment in the cricket match which means it is a very important moment in the cricket match so moment to us means something important or something very significant the answer is too important and choose the option that is opposite of earlier yes earlier the exact opposite or antonym they are asking yes it is later so earlier means sooner sooner the exact opposite is later yes and next one choose opposite of literate as yes, a antonym again literate someone who is educated illiterate someone who is uneducated so the answer is illiterate the proper word is illiterate not unliterate it is a illiterate literate educated illiterate uneducated the next one seeing the wounded bird she dash her mother yes here the answer is call because already the bird is wounded so past so wounded is past so it should also be called yes only after that she call it is not call her mother it is call her mother because the bird is already wounded the answer is to called the next one identify the adverb yes the doctor will see you later so what is an adverb simple adverb is a word that qualifies everything like except noun and pronoun for example he ran fast he runs quickly you know he is playing happily he is looking beautiful like that when the beautiful you know fast happily like that this kind of words are called as adverb so you can now you can see and also whenever you remove an adverb from the word the meaning will not change that much then you see when they ask you to identify the adverb the doctor will see you later so which letter you remove it but still the whole meaning of the sentence is not compromised or the whole meaning of the sentence does not change it is later even you remove the later the doctor will see you yes but if you remove the other word you remove the doctor who will see you if you remove the word see then the whole meaning changes so the adverb is later and then the next question choose appropriate option all my friends are good nature as they say birds of feather dash together it is flock together yes it is a proverb birds of same feather flock together yes it is in you know, a people who has same characteristic or people who are of same character 
people who are of same thinking will always be together that is the idea so all good natured friends will always be together and that is why birds of same feather flock together flock means you know being together is yes, or staying together the answer is c flock then choose the incorrect pair yes here yes singular and plural of uh, you know of all the words has been given for example knife it is knives it is right women and women yes it is right deer are deer yes it is right the incorrect one is mouse and mouses no so the answer they are asking for incorrect the answer is four why because mouse yes the is singular and mice is plural not mouses so mouse means a single mouse mice means group of mouse so mouse and mice is our correct one but they are given mouse and mouses so it is wrong answer is four all are right they are asking for incorrect all are right the last one is incorrect so the answer is four mouse mouses actual answer is mouse and mice the next one fill in the blank with correct conjunction yes the conjunction you can see manjit cannot drive the answer is unless he has a license because only then the meaning of the whole sentence will be fulfilled for example imagine you change the word manjit can drive at the time manjit can drive if he has license now they have even cannot so the correct word is manjit cannot drive unless he has a license only after he having license he can drive so the answer is two and less so that's all about the english section yes and the next section it is general knowledge yes so the first question in the general knowledge by what other name is the water cycle known as and they have given four option the actual answer is c it is three hydrologic cycle yes water cycle is also known as hydrologic cycle so other name of water is hydro yes so cycle hydrologic so, yes. so hydrologic cycle is actually the water cycle yes air cycle it is atmospheric cycle tectonic it is you know the plates the plates of earth and that cycle and there is nothing called water movement cycle the actual answer is c this three hydrologic cycle and the next one which bacteria is responsible for the formation of curd generally milk turns into curd thanks to this bacteria lactobacillus acidophilus yes so this bacteria presence of this bacteria only changes you know the curd ferment or the process called fermentation happen fermentation yes and it is changed to curd the milk turns into curd and this bacteria lactobacillus acidophilus helps in the fermentation of curd yes a formation of curd yes the answer is Two lactobacillus acidophilus. Next one. Pick an example of water pollution. So they are asking for water pollution or water contamination. So what is that? Here you can see all the things except for one thing. All the things that happens very normally. For example, you see animals walking along the beach. Yes. When when I say animal, it also includes you know all other animals. You know it does not cause water pollution. Drinking water out of plastic bottle it does not causes water pollution. Only if we throw the plastic bottle into the water. then only it causes water pollution you can drink you know water in plastic bottles but provided you have to put them in the garbage properly you should not throw it away and gasoline in the car it does not cause water pollution as long as the gasoline or the petrol is in the car it does not cause any pollution only when the petrol mixes with water it causes water pollution so the actual example for water pollution is first option and oil spill from a large ship yes whenever a ship comes and two ship collide For example, in a ship, it has a huge oil tanker. When its oil tanker is compromised or it is destroyed, and it led to the oil spill, yes. and oil spill from a large ship is actual example for water pollution. Answer is one. The next, what is meant by seed coat? So it is in the name seed coat. So a coat covering the seed. Yes. The answer is three. The protective outer coat of a seed. Yes. So every seed, for example, you take mango. After eating, the, you know all the outer fleshy part of the mango, or the inside will be yes, endocarp. That's endocarp is the this seed coat. Yes, the hard, you know, this mango type they say. Yes, that is the actual, you know, seed coat. Inside that there will be seed, soft seed. Yes. So here the answer is seed. The particular outer coat of the seed is called seed coat. And then we will go to the next question. Yes. Who was the chief of army during the Indo-Pakistan War of 
yes the answer is here it is field 2 field marshal shfj sham manaksha yes he is popularly called as sam manaksha or sam the brave sam manaksha yes. so sham manaksha yes. he was been the chief of you know army from 1969 to 1973 yes and he is the first indian army officer to be promoted to five star rank field marshal so this field marshal is a five star even our chief of defense of cds that is four star rather the field marshal is five star rank officer yes he is the first one to promoted to be promoted to five star rank field marshal this you know this rank and yes it is sham manaksha he was the you know army chief of indo pakistan war of 1970 why in the sense recently in 2002 the last year the 50th year of you know bangla formation of bangladesh because after this war bangladesh was formed and that is why this question has been asked it is to field marshal sam manaksha he was the chief of army the next which another following statement is true about fossil fuels yes fossil fuels yes and they have given four options yes and they are asking what is true you see fossil fuels they are renewable sources renewable, renewable sources means so resources that you can use again and again or uh, the resources will be replenished again and again we can use it again and again but no fossil fuels the fossil fuels amount is only limited we cannot use it as a renewable energy but what are other renewable energy solar energy wind energy or renewable sources because there is no limit we can use unlimitedly but whereas renewable sources non renewable sources only limited so the fossil fuel is not a renewable source it is a non renewable source so the first statement is wrong second they are found within the top layers of the earth no it is found in the deep or bottom layer of the earth so the second statement is also wrong third one they are formed over the course of 10 years no it take millions of years thousands and millions of years to form this fossil fuels how it is formed yes the fourth one is right they are the remains of once living organism yes plants animals all the dead plants and animals okay buried deep under the earth crust and you know under the heat and pressure for thousands and ten thousands and millions of year it will be changed into fossil fuels the, fam- the the famous example is coal petroleum and natural gas coal petroleum and gas all are fossil fuels and it is only limited we cannot use it unlimitedly that is why recently after this paris climate deal and all all the world countries including india is changing from this non renewable sources like fossil fuels to renewable sources like solar wind and hydro energy And the next question where is the famous meenakshi temple located yes the famous madurai meenakshi temple we all know yes it is three madurai meenakshi temple yes it was built by kulasekara pandian yes kulasekara pandian of pandya dynasty pandya it is the famous madurai meenakshi temple located at madurai and next one name the holy book of parsis yes you can see the bible it is christianity quran islamism or muslims guru granth sahib it is sikh so obviously for parses it is b or the two zen avastha yes so zen avastha is the holy book of parses it is they are also called as zoroastrianism or zoroastrians yes here the option is two zen avastha we'll go to the next question which vitamin deficiency lead to bleeding of gums slow healing of wounds and aching limbs yes so bleeding of gums is obviously the answer is 3 vitamin c yes vitamin c yes citrus it is there vitamin c is available plenty in all the citrus fruits lemon oranges tangerine like that yes and it is also cause scurvy its lack of vitamin c causes scurvy and it lead to bleeding of gums slow healing of wounds and aching limbs and all yes it is vitamin c vitamin a is related to eye or uh, you know eye deficiency and all yes vitamin d overall development vitamin d skin and bone strength so the answer is 3 vitamin c and where is the united nation headquarters you know united nation organization headquarters it is located in new york which is in usa yes it is located in new york the headquarters of UK. yes next one what is the major source of fresh water in india Yes, the major source of fresh water in India is river water. Yes, you can see 
ocean water is not a fresh water resource because it is salty it is not a fresh water fresh water means drinkable water <clears throat> and third one you see pond water pond water is slightly contaminated one and even though it may be fresh this pond is only a limited one it is not a major source it is a minor source ground water is also a minor source of fresh water the major source are major means present in large quantity it is river water <coughs> next in which sport is the term knockout is used it is also called as ko yes it is obviously boxing yes when we have to score you know points by by winning score by you know getting lot of points but provided if you cannot able to win by points in boxing only you will knock out the enemy knock out means you know making the enemy you know to fall in such a way that they cannot able to get up and fight yes completely disarming the enemy or disarming the opponent is called knockout yes it is used in boxing ko next who invented the electric bulb yes the electric bulb is invented by yes thomas alva edison yes one of the famous scientist yes and mary curie she invented this radium and alexander graham bell telephone cv raman raman effect so the answer is a thomas alva edison next salman rushdi won the booker prize for which among the following book yes here all the books you know are of you know, salman rushdi's book only okay the author of all the books given here are salman rushdi but the actual book is midnight children it is two as it was written in 1981 yes and this midnight children for this book only salman rushdi okay, he, he is the author for him the booker prize was been given yes it is two midnight children and the next question pick out the incorrect statement they are asking for the incorrect one so it means out of four options three are correct one is incorrect yes gravitation affects only the part of the earth no gravitation affects every part of the earth not only part of the earth <coughs> first one is incorrect you see all the remaining statements are right gravitation pulls iron yes gravitation prevents things from floating yes you and me are not floating thanks to gravitation aeroplane do not fly in the gravitational field yes that is why aeroplane you know flies somewhat higher from the ground because close to the ground the gravitational pull will be more yes and yes all the options are right they are asking for the incorrect one answer is one gravitation affects only part of the earth yes so answer is one next 91 the reading above dash on richter scale can cause severe severe damage so richter scale so what is this richter scale simple the richter scale is used to measure the damage of earthquake earthquake yes so the richter scale this scale is from 0 to 9 the top most or the maximum is 9 9 means very very severe damage but the question is which above which can cause severe damage the answer is 1 7 six causes damage but seven and seven above it is severe damage yes so the answer is 1 7 above the reading above seven and richter scale richter scale causes severe damage The next question: Who has won the Sushila Devi Literature Award for the novel "Things to Leave Behind"? Yes, the answer is Namita Gokhale. Three, Namita Gokhale. For you know, she only wrote this novel "Things to Leave Behind." Yes. The next question: What does white color in the Indian flag represent? Yes, we all know Indian flag. It is the the three colors are there: saffron, white, and then green. so saffron indicates strength you know and the valor of our you know independent national leaders and saffron denotes that strength green denotes the fertility and prosperity yes so white denotes peace and truth yes so obviously white white is obviously mentioned with you know related with peace yes and that is why answer is two peace and truth white denotes peace and truth The next question: Which state or Union Territory is Nanda Devi located? Is Nanda Devi is a mountain peak? It is a mountain peak. This Nanda Devi is located in Uttarakhand. Yes, and this Nanda Devi is the second, you know, highest mountain peak in India after Kanchenjunga. Kanchenjunga is in Sikkim. It is the first highest peak peak in India. the second highest is peak nanda devi yes it is around 7817 meter 
around 7.8 km yeah. so that is how you know that is the height or altitude of the peak it is located in uttarakhand so answer is 3 next where did buddha attain enlightenment yes enlightenment means at utmost knowledge that is called enlightenment achieving the greatest knowledge that is called enlightenment yes the answer is to bodh gaya yes buddha attain enlightenment at bodh gaya under the bodhi tree and lumbini is where buddha was born sarnath where buddha gave the first sermon or the first teaching kushinagara is the place where buddha died so enlightenment it is to bodh gaya 96 what do tissues help in yes for this the answer is two division of labor among cells yes tissues divide the labor okay yes these this cells do this job and this cells do this job heart heart tissues okay pump the blood lung tissues you know help in respiration like that different labor or different jobs will be split among the cells and the tissues will help in that only the answer is two <coughs> next which classical dance form is named after the village it originated from classical dance yes it is one kuchipudi so kuchipudi is a classical dance of andhra pradesh andhra because yes in kuchipudi village of andhra only this dance was originated it is one of the classical dance of india classical means very old traditional dance other classical dance are kathak yes and then satriya bharatanatyam yes kathakali these you know dances and all is a classical dance forms of india and one such classical dance is kuchipudi and yes it is named after the village from kuchipudi that village is still present in andhra so and option is one which sweet is deep fried dipped in sugar syrup round shape and usually orange in color yes this none other than jalebi and yes, this jalebi is called as national sweet of india no one can say that they don't like jalebi yes so jalebi is it's a deep fried one after frying that it will be dipped in the sugar syrup yes sakkar paag they say yes and then after that only it attains that you know reddish color and then it attains that sweet you know taste yes so this, this jalebi is referred to as national sweet of india next one which part of the earth supports its biodiversity yes biodiversity you all know different species and different organism living together in a common place that is called biodiversity yes here you can see the answer is one biosphere yes in the biosphere only earth support biodiversity yes you take forest plants is there different animal is there yes a lion is there jackal is there you know hyena is there giraffe elephant everything is there small insects is there deer is there crocodile is there so that is called biodiversity different diverse species living together in a common area and yes this biosphere is a combination of lithosphere hydrosphere and then atmosphere so lithosphere hydrosphere and then atmosphere lithosphere means rock or the ground yes ground or the soil hydrosphere water atmosphere air so soil water air combined together it gives rise to biosphere answer is one yes and the last question in the gk part what process is involved in cloud seeding and which technique is you know that induces rain yes here the answer is two when water vapor in the atmosphere cools and condenses around a particle of dust or solid so what is cloud seeding cloud seeding is nothing but artificial rain okay by man made rain that is called as cloud seeding yes generally how cloud forms this water droplets floating in the floating there in the atmosphere okay after that only it condenses and then it forms as rain so to if we aid the condensation process there in the cloud okay we can you know bring back you know this artificial rain so what happens aeroplanes and all they will spray this dry ice or silver iodide silver iodide yes so these both dry ice and silver iodide and also sodium chloride potassium chloride yes salt and also this dry ice and silver iodide this will be sprayed on the cloud yes so what happens this will create a nuclei in the cloud and it will help in the condensation condensation means so okay so the water droplet which is spread it will come together join as a clump it will join together it will cool down once it is cooled down it will come down as rain it aid in the condensation yes so what happens generally in pressure cooker okay the steam that comes up 
it will be condensed on the top and then water droplets will be seen same thing yes so the streams come from the ground it will go and then it condenses and it it will form down it will come down as rain and that is called cloud seed yes so this chemicals will be used dry ice silver iodide and also potassium chloride and sodium chloride is used you know to cool the atmosphere and condense and that is called cloud seed yes it helps in artificial rain yes or human induced rain answer is 2 so that's all about the gk part